commonly if there is period delay it might be by seven days past the expected period but 10 to 20 percent of women experience longer delays to their next period without being pregnant period delay after using the morning after pill how long can it last there is no simple answer to this question it's unpredictable and it varies hi everyone welcome back to the channel i'm dr sylvia a general practitioner and health educator and founder of ask away health on this channel we love to talk about everything that relates to women's family and sexual health so hopefully you will get something of value as you visit us today please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel if this is the case now the morning after pill or emergency pill prevents unplanned pregnancy after unprotected sex it works primarily by delaying ovulation that is the release of a mature egg from the ovary go and check out my ovulation video if you want to learn more about this and taking the morning after pill as soon as possible after sex makes it more likely to work the typical examples people use are ella or levonorgestrel containing pills like postinol postinol 2 levonel take action plan b and so on remember there could be a few possible effects on your menstrual cycle after taking the pill number one you see no change in your cycle and your next period arrives the same time as usual or within seven days of the expected date this is the case in most women after taking the emergency pill number two alternatively your period may come earlier a little bit earlier than usual number three you might have bleeding that is not your period this is usually spotting or light bleeding that happens a few days after you've taken the pill then followed some days later by a period in some cases this extra bleeding may happen after the period has come number four and what we're talking about today is that your period appears later than the expected date of course this last scenario brings a lot of anxiety even when the pregnancy test is negative okay for a woman whose period is delayed after using the morning after pill the delay is usually for about seven days for those who use ella according to one study about 20 percent of women see their periods more than seven days late in a very small number their period could even be delayed by more than 20 days in around 10 percent of women who use the other type of pill that is postinol levonel take action and so on the delay can be for more than 10 days beyond the expected period so what should you do if your period is delayed after taking the pill number one don't panic i know the obvious thought is that you're pregnant but it may still be the effect of the hormones from the pill or some other issue not pregnancy number two you could recheck your dates and ensure you've got the right next period date so you are not worrying unnecessarily you could also look at which part of your cycle you took the pill now this is not very reliable but some studies say the period is more likely to be delayed if you've taken the pill early in the cycle if you took the pill several days after sex is probably less likely to work and its effectiveness may be reduced if taken after ovulation has already happened now there are other ways that the pill could work and that's not what i'm talking about in this video but please go and have a look on my smart birth control playlist if you want to learn about how the pill works and signs that might indicate whether or not the pill has worked number three do a pregnancy test the earliest it can indicate if you are pregnant that is a urine test is if you do it about two to three weeks after having sex many urine tests are pretty sensitive and if you do one and it's negative consider repeating it after one week or you could simply get a blood pregnancy test which is more accurate now what if it's been more than two weeks and the test is negative but you're getting cramps in your tummy sore boobs or other pregnancy symptoms well sometimes the test could be wrong but remember they're quite sensitive it's still possible they could be wrong and if you're getting a lot of these pregnancy symptoms 
please go for a blood test. If that is negative, the delay could still be as a result of the pill. Remember, some women have periods delayed by 20 days or more. Not many, but it is possible. Also, the delay in your periods may happen because of stress, life issues, your weight changing, gaining weight or losing weight, your mood changing, the level of exercise that you're taking around the period when you had the pill, other medication that you might be taking at the same time or even medical conditions. And again, these are different from one woman to the next. Can your period be delayed for more than two months after the pill? It could happen, but not commonly. In such a case, after checking you're not pregnant, I would want to examine you and do some tests. For example, I want to be sure you haven't got abnormal hormone levels, thyroxine, prolactin, testosterone, etc. These abnormal hormone levels could arise from conditions like underactive thyroid or PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome. I'd also want to check for stress, for example, from a new job, any weight loss or weight gain, medicines you're taking, excessive exercise, things that might affect your ovulation pathway and delay your periods. So ladies, period delay after taking the emergency pill can be variable. Commonly, if there is period delay, it might be by seven days past the expected period, but 10 to 20% of women experience longer delays to their next period without being pregnant. There's really nothing you can do to tell if the pill worked before the third week after sex when you can do your pregnancy test, but making sure you take the pill as recommended as soon as possible after intercourse helps. Also, think about getting a regular form of birth control to avoid this palaver in future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my smart birth control playlist for more helpful information about birth control. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.